Hey, what's going on guys? Jake the Happy Snake here, and today I'm going to show you guys my top 10 favorite Pokemon cards from the Breakpoint set. This is my favorite set of all time in the Pokemon TCG, in case you did not know that. I mean, I've opened up enough Breakpoint packs to accumulated a top 10 favorite card list from this set. I mean, I've opened up at least, I mean, it's got to be... 530 packs at this point. I, I could be approaching 540. I'm not exactly sure. I kind of lost count of how many packs I opened up after my 500th pack. So I really have no idea how many packs it's been. I should maybe count to find out. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 favorite cards from this set. I am really, really excited for this because like I said, it's my favorite set of all time. I, I really do love a lot of the cards in this set. It was, it was actually really tough to choose just 10. There is 122 cards altogether from this set. So yeah, it was kind of tough to choose 10, but I was able to come up with 10 and I'm really, really excited to show you guys uh, this list. So, going to be getting started with number 10. It is the Garchomp Hollow. This is number 70 of the set. Uh, Garchomp is my favorite dragon type Pokemon of all time. So that's one reason why this card made the list. And I just really like the artwork. I think the holographic pattern looks really cool. The background is really, really nice. I just think Garchomp looks absolutely sick in in the uh, in the artwork. And when I say sick, I mean I mean the good kind of sick, not the actual, not, not the disgusting kind of sick. But yeah, Garchomp is is awesome. I found a gap a, a shiny Gabite in Pokemon Y in early 2016. So around the time this set came out, actually. Uh, wait, was it early 20s? Yeah, it was early 2016. So yeah, it was it was in February, I'm pretty sure. So I think it was that was the same month that Breakpoint came out, actually. So yeah, I really, really like this card. So that's number 10. Number 9 would be the Suicune Hollow. This is number 30 in the set. I I mean, at first glance, Suicune reminds me of the Rapid Dash in the in the very first theme song of the anime when um, it's the part of the song where it says I will travel across the land. I think that's the, um, I will travel across the land. I, you know, I think that when that part of the song plays, you see Rapidash uh, running across, and that's the way Suicune looks in this card. Kind of looks like he's running the same the same way. And I just, again, I think the background looks really, really cool. I, I really do like the, um, I really do like, uh, like the sunset backgrounds. I made a shining Chikorita card that I, I think I showed in a video a couple weeks ago, or maybe it was less than two weeks ago, I'm not really sure. And I actually, and, and the background of that card was I, I found a sunset background. I just think that the, 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 those kind of backgrounds look really, really cool in Pokemon cards. I just think it's a really, really nice um, looking card. So yeah, that's number nine. Number eight is another holographic card. This one's number three in the set. It is the Meganium Hollow, mainly because well, this card mainly made the mainly made the list because it is the final evolution of my favorite Pokemon of all time. And I, again, I think the artwork looks really, really cool. It's very similar artwork to the Garchomp um, card I showed a couple minutes ago. Like it, 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 like, it looks like the same style of artwork. I just think it looks really, really cool. I, I do like Meganium. I've used Meganium multiple times in the Pokemon games. So yeah. That's number eight. Number seven is the Manaphy EX Full Art. I really, really like the, uh, the the artwork of this card. That's the main reason why this card made the set. I know it's kind of random, but I don't think I have too many of this card. And I just think it looks really, really cool. The yellow outline of Manaphy looks really, really nice. It is a really, really nice looking card. The, the you know, the pink, purple background, and that's like blue on the bottom. It just looks really cool. This is number 116 in the set out of 122, so it's towards the end of the set. Yeah, I just think this card looks gorgeous. Like, it's a really, really nice looking card. That's really the only reason that, why this card made the list. I think I pulled, I pulled um, the, the, this card recently. I can't even remember when that was, but I feel like I pulled it recently. Anyways, yeah, that's number six. Number eight, and not number eight, what am I talking about? Number seven, uh, no wait, that was number seven. I'm sorry, this is number six. Jeepers, I can't even count apparently. Sorry, that was number uh, seven. This one is number six. Okay, I've pulled a lot of, like, I have a lot of copies of this card. Embor EX, this one's number 14 in the set, so it's towards the beginning. Um, Embor is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Probably, I would say my, it, I would say that it, actually it is my favorite fire type. I think Flareon would be number two, or, or Ho-Oh. Th those are my top three favorite fire types. I, Embor might be number one. I really like Embor. Tepig was the start I chose in black um, almost a decade ago. And, I mean... 
one of the first level 100s I ever had. And I just, I really like Embor. I think it's a really cool Pokemon. A lot of people didn't like Embor because, a lot of people don't like Embor because it's the third fire and fighting type starter that we had in a row. But honestly, out of the three fire and fighting type starters, Embor is definitely my favorite between Bladeskin, Infernape, and Embor. I'm not counting the second evolutions. I'm counting, I'm counting the final evolution. I, I just, yeah, I really like Embor. And I mean, that's one reason. That's probably the main reason why this is my favorite set of all time. It has so many of my favorite Pokemon. I'll be getting to that a little bit later on in the list. But um, you know, and this would be one of them. Like when I found out that, that there was an Embor. EX in this set. I was like, holy crap, this is like my dream set because I, I knew all the other like Trigger and ho -Oh, I knew that, that, that they were on the set, but when I found out there was a ho there was an Embor, I was like, no way, I've got to buy some packs. This was four years ago. Anyways, yeah, really, really like this card. I love the Pokemon Embor. Uh, that would be number six. I want to make sure I get that right. Okay, number five. Uh, this is actually first ever, fun fact, this is the first ever breakpoint I believe this is the first ever Breakpoint card I ever owned, okay? Not this exact exact copy, but this card, okay? This is number 92 of the set, okay? This is number five of the list, Ho-Oh EX. The reason why this is the, this was the first Breakpoint card I ever owned, because I uh, wanted a ho -Oh, I wanted a ho -Oh EX for my um, remake video of, that I did in my first ever video. Uh, the first ever video I made on YouTube, I wanted to make a remake of it. It was five years after the fact, so it would be April 3rd, 2016 was when that video was supposed to go up, and I wanted a Ho OEX to kind of recreate that that video, but I wanted a different Ho OEX. I was like, you know, I'm gonna buy that, and I think that was before. I think I got. I'm pretty sure I got this card before I bought any packs at Breakpoint, and that's what made me want to get some packs at Breakpoint when I found out that this had Ho Ho -Oh and Chikorita. Um, so yeah, I think believe this is the first Breakpoint card I ever owned, and I just think it looks really cool. I mean, like Ho -Oh is my favorite legendary of all time. Love Ho. -Oh. I have a lot of ho -Oh cards, I'm not going to lie. I would like to get the ho -Oh break, to be quite honest, but I don't know. I'm not making any money right now. Um, but, uh, yeah. Just think it looks really, really cool. And usually you see ho -Oh as a um, fire type in a Pokemon card, but this one's colorless, so it's kind of cool. Elemental Feather, I think it's really cool. Grass, f uh, water, and electric energy you need, but <laughs> no fire energy, which is kind of cool. Anyways, yeah, that's number five. Number four is, uh, fun fact, it's a regular rare. It's a Clefable. Uh, did I say what's, what number of set the ho oh yes was from? It's, it's number 92, I don't know if I said that. This one's number 82 in the set. And this is actually, yeah, this is number four, believe it or not, because Clefable's awesome. I used Clefable in my, one of my first ever playthroughs of Blue, not my Let's Play on my channel. Um, he, I mean, in my opinion, Clefable's a beast. Uh, where was I? Yeah, I really like this card. Um, Clefable's one of my favorite Pokemon of all, t of all time. And when it's Metronome... Oh, yeah, that's where it was. Metronome, um, freaking... Uh, uh, it learns a bunch of, like, you know, like, Fire Blast, Thunder, stuff like that. Um, it's... It, I, I just really like it. I think it's a really awesome Pokemon. Uh, background's really cool. Color of the card is really cool. It's a really, really nice looking card. Um, I, I, I really like the Reverse Hollow version of this, of this uh, card. It's really, really, really nice. Um, really nice looking card. Um, yeah, no, I really like that card. That would be number four. <clears throat> number three, you got a lot of you guys might think that this would be number one, but it's actually number three, okay? It is the Chikorita from this set, which is the main reason why I started uh, opening breakpoint packs because this card is. I mean, this is, I was trying to get as many, I'm, I, I still am trying to get as many cards from the set as possible because Chikorita is my favorite Pokemon of all time. And that was, that's the main card that I've been trying to get in these packs. And I've got, I think I'm up to, I think I'm, I, I counted the other day, I think I might have 70 by now. Um, cause I got a few of these Atlantic around my room and I've got like 65 in my, you know, my box of Chikorita cards. Um, this would be, um, yeah, this is number three. I really, I mean, this is the card that I'm trying to, that I've, this is the card that made me start opening Breakpoint Packs. I'm not going to lie. Because uh, I love Chikorita. This is the first Chikorita card. This was the first card since, I believe, the Call of Legends set. There were no Chikorita cards printed in the black, and, in any of the black and white sets. Um, so yeah, that was the main reason why I, uh, um, that was the main reason I, um, I started opening Breakpoint packs. Um, like I said, Chikorita is my favorite Pokemon of all time, and this was this is the card that I try to get most often in my packs. I mean, lately I've been trying to get the Gyarados EX Full Art and the Dark Rite EX, but I, I will definitely take more copies of this card, I'm not going to lie. I love this card so much. Okay, that is number three. Number two. 
This was one of the last cards of the set that I needed to pull, which is kind of ironic. Oh, by the way, uh, the Chikorita card is the very, actually, yeah, I should mention, the Chikorita card is the very first card in the set. It's number one, so that's kind of cool. This card is number 121, so it's the second last card of the set, is the ho -Oh EX Full Art. This was the second last card that I needed to pull in the set. I finally pulled it in my 24 Breakpoint Booster Pack opening video. I did it about uh, a little over three years ago. Um, this card is beautiful. I mean, it's gorgeous. Like, look at this thing. Look at the rainbows. Look at ho -Oh. It's so shiny. It's an absolute... It, I mean, come on, let's be honest. It's a sexy card. It really is. It's a really, really nice card. It's a... It's... Just, like the moves and everything is the same from this ho -Oh EX, but it's a it's a more rare version because it's the full art version. It's gorgeous. I love this card. I really do love this card. Really, really nice card. Um, yeah, I remember I remember for the longest while I was trying to get this card and I could not get it. And finally I got it. Finally I I finally did get it. Um, yeah, and like I said earlier, ho -Oh is my favorite legendary of all time. Um, just it's one of my favorite it, it probably is my favorite ho -Oh card, I'm not gonna lie. Really, really nice um, card. And if you can hear the voice, just like yesterday's video, my dad's tutoring. So yeah, don't don't mind him. Yeah, that's number two. And number one, you guys might not believe this. Number one is actually Scizor Spirit Link. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. No, number one is the secret rare of the set, the Gyarados EX. Full Art Secret Rare. This one's numbered 123 of 122. Um, this is my favorite card of the set because it's a Secret Rare. It's golden. Look at the border. It's gorgeous. Um, the Gyarados is actually like a different like texture than the rest of the card. It's just like a solid texture. You can see Manaphy. You can see Greninja. It is just a really, really nice card. I pulled this in my third Breakpoint video, I'm pretty sure. It's the first one I pulled. Now I have nine copies of it. I'm waiting for number 10, actually. Um... Yeah, this card is beautiful. This card is really, really, really nice. Uh, like I said, Secret Rare. It's supposed to be hard to pull, but I've pulled nine out of 530 packs and one Dark Right EX. One. Like, how did, how does that happen? Like, I don't understand. But um, yeah, no, this card is awesome. Love this card. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I remember the first time I, I pulled one. You can actually watch that video. I think it's in, I think it's in my third Breakpoint video. Seven booster packs I opened up. I'm pretty sure. Um, I, this, I pulled the very, my very first one, and I was like, "Wow, this was this is sick." And now when I go, I was like, "Oh, cool! I kind of would like to get the the, Gar the Gyarados, the regular Gyarados EX full art." But uh, yeah, really, really, really nice card. Secret rare. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, guys, that is my top 10 favorite Pokemon card list. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I'm planning on doing a uh, top 10 list of my favorite Pokemon cards, like, in general. But I'm waiting for a certain card to, uh, to come in the mail before I do that. But once I get that card, I will make that video. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you all, guys, next time. Peace!